Let's graph the equation y equals 3 quarters of x plus 2. This is already in what we call y equals mx plus b form, or slope intercept form. What that means is that this number here, positive 2, is the y-intercept. That's where the line hits this y-axis. That's the up-down axis that crosses to 0 on the x. See 0 here? Anyways, positive 2 is where I'm going to put my dot, so that's my y-intercept. Great. Then my slope, 3 quarters, tells me my rise and my run. Now it's positive 3 and positive 4, which means that it's a rise of actually 3. We're going to go up 3. And the run of 4, positively, means we're going to go to the right by 4. We're going to start from this point, the y-intercept, the one that was given, and go up 3, right 4, and that's going to give us another point on the line. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3. That takes me up here. And i got to go to the right by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Just going to make sure I'm lined up here with my axis. Wish I had a grid, but I don't. Now that's enough. You just draw, use a ruler to draw a straight line between those two points, and you're done, right? But you can keep going. From this point, you can go up 3. 1, 2, 3. And then run another 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have another point here at 8, etc., etc., etc. Do I have room for another one? Not really. 1, 2, 3. No, I don't. You're probably supposed to have used a ruler for that, but uh, I don't have one, so you got that. Not bad, though. Cool. The point is, this was already in y equals mx plus b form. b is your y-intercept. Put a dot there. Slope M gives you the rise and run, tells you how far up and over to go. Bam. Done. Best of luck.